what a shocker here, Merrill. Stony Brook and College of Charleston. But maybe the shocker is that Stony Brook is in this game here tonight. Forgot I had a sweatshirt prop. I appreciate the reminder. Yes! There it is! Yay! <laughs> Along with the Colonial <laughs> Coastal. It's a bigger conference. It's a bigger and worse conference than it's ever been in history with 14 teams. And that is the truth. We're going to look at a free play in that game. A quick reminder, I've got a strong NBA best bet tonight for my clients at wagertalk.com. Back-to-back sweeps on Sunday and Monday night in the NBA. We're talking college hoops. It is March Madness, but the NBA continues to cash. Also, a bonus free NBA play on my page for Monday night. And don't miss out on the special promo code as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Let's look at the CAA championship game tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern. The line has gone from 8.5 to 10. Money's coming actually 7.5 to about 9.5, 10 on College of Charleston. So they are going to win this game. I actually would lean Stony Brook on the side. Uh, this is one of the best money makers in sports this year. They're 23 and 8 against the spread, Stony Brook is. They lost by six as a six-point dog in the one meeting back in January. But Charleston was plus 15 points from three-point range, only one by six. So I would lean towards Stony Brook on the dog side on the side. But I think the total, as you see on the screen, is the best play. And I like under 149 and a half. Heavy, early, sharp money on the total under here. It opened as high as 156 and a half. That was a bad number because this is not a regular season game. The odds makers got sucked into the fact that Charleston loves to play extremely fast. Stony Brook usually plays up-tempo with those type of teams, and that is exactly what we saw on that January 6th meeting earlier this season when Charleston won 93-87, 180 points, easily went over the total of 152.5. So what do they do? They bump this one a few baskets higher, but it's a mistake because this is not a regular season game. It's a conference championship. We're going to get more defensive intensity in a championship game, but the biggest reason it was a mistake is because these teams are fatigued, especially Stony Brook. They're the seven seed. They had to play the extra game on Saturday. They beat Northeastern as a one-point favorite. Then they upset both the three and two seeds, Drexel and Hofstra, the last two days on Sunday and Monday. And now they're playing their fourth game in four nights without rest. They need to slow things down. And they are capable of playing pretty good half-court defense when needed. They're not a bad defensive team this season. In fact, they rate as a better defensive team than Charleston. Charleston has to play fast, but this is now their third game in three nights with no rest. And they had a scrappy win last night, a non-covering win against Towson. And if you watched Wager Talk today on Monday, I gave out Towson plus the six to six and a half as a free play on that show because Towson plays at one of the 10 slowest paces in the country. And I knew that would slow the game down, give the dog a chance. So Charleston had a scrappy win last night. I think this game doesn't necessarily go down the wire. I do think Stony Brook stays within single digits. Charleston advances to the tournament for the second year, but the under is the way to play it. Plenty of wiggle room still here under 149 and a half. That's at 7 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. And a quick reminder, if you're loving this content on Wager Talk TV, click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts when these free play videos go up throughout the week. And also comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. Thumbs up, like. And I've got a strong NBA best bet and a bonus free NBA play tonight on Tuesday on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com.